The Santa Monica College employee who was shot and critically wounded in an altercation at the school has died. Felicia Hudson was a custodial operations manager at the school. The shooting suspect, Hudson's co-worker, died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound yesterday after being cornered by police. KTLA's Rick Chambers is live in Santa Monica with more on the tragic story and reaction. Rick? Yes, yeah, sure. This is the building on campus where that shooting took place. And you're absolutely right. It is tragic for both of the families that are involved in this. Now, I think we've all had disagreements with our co-workers, some maybe even a heated exchange. But you never expect it's going to go this far. She was just 54 years old, a custodial manager here at Santa Monica College's Center for Media and Design. But at 5 o'clock this afternoon, Felicia Hudson died from her gunshot wounds. Police say 29-year-old Devon Dean, Hudson's co-worker, was the shooter. Both were longtime employees at the college, but Dean's family said tonight that the two had been feuding, that Dean was under a great deal of stress and may have snapped under the pressure. Following the on-campus attack Monday night, Dean fled in a dark-colored sedan. But that car was spotted Tuesday afternoon by Hawthorne police out along El Segundo Boulevard. And after a brief pursuit, the car was cut off and hemmed in by SWAT vehicles. Now, during an hours-long standoff, during which police tried to talk Dean out of the car, Dean eventually took his own life. The standoff has come to an end at this point. Officers placing what we believe was Dean's gun on the top of the car. Santa Monica College President Dr. Catherine Jeffrey released a statement tonight saying in part that we are deeply saddened and shocked by the tragic loss of our colleague Felicia Hudson. To Felicia's family and loved ones and friends, SMC extends our heartfelt condolences and prayers. Hudson had been with the college nearly 30 years and being remembered tonight as an irreplaceable colleague. And now a college fund has been established in her honor. And we're also hearing tonight that a vigil will be held tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. here on the campus in Santa Monica. I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, I'll throw it back to you in the studio. Rick, thank you.